In this video, I'm going to be making a stackable implant guide. So this is proof of concept only. So we're going to be importing a few teeth and then selecting which ones we want and deleting the others. And then exactly like a mock-up, we're going to be scaling or rotating moving teeth all, all around the place until we have a decent looking setup. Now I'm going to be removing a few teeth from the model. And these can then be deleted or hidden in a layer. I'll be taking the molar off as well. Once that's done, we will always smooth the model. This is to ensure that we have a good underlying mesh structure. Then I'm going to offset my model and with a blocked out module, I'll be making a passive model. This passive model is also offset. I will be deleting the offset model and then following that we will then import a few implants. Now this is a hypothetical setup only. You will however be able to see this in the DICOM editor while you're working. Here I'm going to be moving them about the place, scaling them a little bit, rotating them and in one instance I'm going to be replacing a tapered implant with a cylindrical implant. We're working in a transparent model so that we are able to see exactly what we're doing. Again we'll be able to see this in the DICOM 3D Slicer editor. Over here I'm going to be swapping the tapered implant for a cylindrical one. The same on the side. And then shifting them. In this instance we are choosing the cylinder and we're going to be setting it to the, the largest drill diameter. And then the blue is the offset so that it fits through the sleeve. Once the sleeves are all done, I'm going to be using a, a metal insert for one of them to show how this is done. And the cut is made and the metal insert will fit in there. Now we're going to be drawing out the tube. Leaving enough space on both sides of the setup. We want it to stand away from the setup that we can place another tube on the inside. Here I'm going to expose all of the cutting tools and I'll be using a, a few cutting tools to cut through the outside tube. Both cylinder and tube have now been cut. Next I'll be making another tube system, a little bit thinner this time, and joining them up with a larger tube on the outside. 
this network needs to be fully supported so that it is strong enough to carry the guard sleeves. The second tube structure will be offset from the model and also duplicated so that we can use it for our tooth setup. We will remesh this structure to finalize it. Once this is done, I'll be using the cutting tools to cut through that tube system. Here, before I do the cut, I will inspect where the, these tubes are so that they do in fact support the sleeves Then we'll be cutting through that secondary tube system which carries the sleeves. I'm going to be joining them up to make it one object. The secondary object is now complete. We will then move to the third object. So we will be hiding that away and getting our duplicate version and joining those to the teeth. But before we, we finalize our cutting system, we're going to join up the, the teeth to our temporaries. And here I'm moving the, the mesh a little bit further towards the implant so that we can in fact join it up nicely and make a hole through the crown. This is very important so that we have enough material around our hole. Also it's important to make sure that the mesh of the teeth is in the correct position before we join them, them up to the implant. Here what I'm doing is I'm creating a little bit more space so that we have material around the hole and then we're going to be cutting it. And then we don't need these cutting tools at the moment, but we will be using them a little bit later. This implant library is an open mesh, so we need to close it with the push up of a button. We can close it and then we'll be moving them inwards towards our model, which is then used as a cutting tool later on. Yeah, now I'm going to be scaling them a little bit, the necks of them. And bringing them into the model itself. And then we're going to be cutting them. This completes our bridge structure. And that's good to go. Last thing, our third network system we need to develop this. Here what I'm doing is I'm making sure that they are connected to the correct positions of the teeth. And then following that we will be using our cutting tool to cut through this system of tubes. Here I've cut through the tubes and then we're going to join them up to complete the system. This was a purely hypothetical example. If you have any questions or comments, please forward these to us. We'd like to hear from you. Also, if you'd like to develop this further and perhaps make a few of these surgical guides, let us know. We still need to develop attachments which hold the secondary and tertiary components to the main 
parent body. But again, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.